Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So today's video will be an extension of our ongoing series uh, where I have created uh, one video regarding how to create a nebula and another video was how to create a realistic earth inside new. So while working on this project, I decided to add few more elements to create a full scene. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a spaceship inside that project. So yes, today's video will be a very interesting video and I hope this video will be in two or three parts. So I'm going to explain each and everything in detail. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see over here in last class, I have created few things like so this was my nebula and if I'm showing you over here, this was my earth. Of course, I did some tweakings and I added few details in lights and details over here. But overall, this is my entire comp, right? So now what I wanted, I wanted to add a spaceship. So I have my spaceship over here. And if you can see, it's pretty realistic looking and lighting, rendering done. Everything is done. And yes, I used Maya for my rendering. Yes. So uh, it took me a while to render this thing because uh, I need to uh, render it, it on a higher sample because I am uh, using transmission and I'm having multiple things. Right. So it took me um, bits in bits and pieces. It took me around uh, three days or four days to render. Right. So, yeah, now this is total a hundred frame project. Right. So this is what I have hundred frame. And if I'm going to play it, uh, although it won't play, but if you can see if I can scrub it, yes, it's my spaceship is coming like this. Right. And if I'm going to show you a layer contact sheet, so you will easily see I'm having multiple things rendered, right? Like UV pass, like I'm having ambient occlusion, lights are separated like key light, HDRI light, I'm having normal, I'm having point position pass, rim light, emission pass I'm having, indirect I'm having, and crypto mat and shadow mat and multiple things I'm having, right? So yeah, I'm also having motion vector. I'm not sure it will work or not, but this is a pretty, pretty subtle moment of spaceship, right? Okay. So this is what I have. And also I would like to tell you that this entire project is in ACES 1.3. If you want this project file, you can go and you can check my website. Although this render is quite heavy. So I'll try to give you at least one, one frame so that you can go ahead, right? So now mostly in today's video, I'm going to rebuild my shader and in next one or two videos i'm going to do all the details also i'm going to add multiple artifacts multiple lens flares so it will take one or two videos as well so if i'm going to show you a working version it's not final but it's a working version and if you can see my spaceship is coming in front of my camera and this is going to be my shot, right? So let's start with composing uh, this thing. So I'm going to keep it aside. And as you know, guys, I will arrange my files as I will progress, right? So I'm going to do this, right? So yeah, of course, I'll start my compositing with my key light. So I'll take a shuffle load. And in shuffle, I'm going to add value in one. So what will happen? Whatever I'm going to shuffle, it will show me name over here. And I will start with my might be HDRI light. So this is my HDRI light. And also I'm going to copy this, paste it. And I'm going to shuffle this time my key light. And since it's a light entity, what I'm going to do, I'm going to plus it, right? So right now I'm just doing A and B, right? Also, I'm having my other lights like rim light. So this will be my uh, rim light, right? And I'm going to add my rim light over here. And this rim light as well will be on plus mode, right? Also, I'm having my other things. Let me figure it out. 
so quickly i'll start doing things like i'm having my um emission pass or indirect i am having indirect as well so i'm going to add my indirect little bit of light you can see so yeah i'm going to add a plus let's do a plus always remember light pass should be in plus blending mode right also i am having my emissions so i will shuffle my emission pass which is this and i'm going to shuffle this thing on plus mode let's add it on a plus mode so yeah this is a pretty basic a over b i started with my uh, hdr light i started with my key light then i added my rim light then added my or indirect light or i added my emission pass that's what i'm having right also i'm having my specular pass right so i'll shuffle my specular pass and also i'm having my transmissions so before uh, specular what i'm doing i'm going to add my transmission so basically you can see i'm having a little bit of transmission pass over here so emission after emission i can add my transmission pass it's not needed but i'm having that's why i'm going to add it if you want to know what is transmission pass definitely i can make one video separate video on that so this is my uh, see it's not creating any kind of uh, impact but yes i have that's what i'm using it's not mandatory that you have to use it right so after that i am going to use my uh, specular pass and as you can see i am having a lots of specular right so if i'm going to add this in plus blending mode you can easily see it's going very bright right so if you can see this is what i had and this is what i have so pretty bright so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a grade node and in grade node probably i will create some kind of contrast so my only specular i will have so if i'm going to do that now it's coming better so if i'm going to disable this you can see yeah so uh, this is something what i'm having and also what i'm going to do i'm going to take a merge node and i will add this over my background like this directly let's add now if i'm going to see there will be a uh, some kind of problem but i'm not getting any kind of problem or alpha issue so my alpha is quite solid so let me check yeah i'm having my solid alpha over here alpha over here so if if my alpha is not that solid so probably i will have to copy my alpha one more time but it's all working fine now i'll go and i'll start tweaking my different different layers so that i can get my desired result right so first thing first i am going to tweak my transmission or probably i i am going to tweak my emission pass so this will be my emission pass and uh, for that i need to make some spaces like this right so in emission i will add a dot node and in dot node i am going to take a glow right because uh, this is a self illuminating or light emitting element so they must glow so i'll use effects only and this time i'm going to spread size a lot might be i can increase little bit of brightness and on top of this i'm going to connect my glow and i will plus it one more time i'm going to add a dot node and same way i'm going to take a glow node and i'll connect this and this time effects only but i'm going to create my core so i'll increase my tolerance might be like this let me increase my tolerance also i can plus it so what will happen you will have a core like this yeah so later on if needed i can change it anytime so let's go over here and let's see how it's looking i think it's looking too glowy right now so probably i'll go over here and i'll just switch it off yeah it's so i'll go over here and might be i'll spread a little more and might be i can lower down the mix not much but almost 50% and if i'm going to disable enable it so this is something i'm getting oh it's going good okay 
also i will go over here and i will start tweaking my things right so this is my hdri light and probably i can take a grade node and i will uh, do a little grading kind of stuff like i'll crunch it down so that my highlight will get more values like this and also i will go to my key light and in my key light i'm going to add a soft glow because uh see i'm having multiple references so let me show you references first i'll go over here and open recent and if you can see i'm having multiple references of earth and also i'm having multiple references of uh, spaceships can you see that that will be a mix and match of look and feel like this i am following this i like this look and feel so i'm going to achieve this look and feel but might be i can add some here and there uh, multiple effects like this right without reference i am not recommending to work so yeah i have multiple uh, references so i need to punch my highlights more not highlights key light more right so i'll go over here and might be after that i can add a grade node and i'll i'll do this might be i'll, I'll create uh, some kind of contrast in my key light and after that i can add a glow node and here i'm going to use effect only and let's add a soft glow because if you'll see reference now there is a soft glow around my highlights right so i'm going to create that effect and of course that will be on plus mode and let's see our final output so yeah this is too much if you can see so what i'm going to do i'm going to first thing first i'm going to add a grade node before adding glow so over here i'm going to create a contrast what i'll have i'll have only most highlighted areas like this like this and if i'm going to disable it if you can see i'm having everything but i don't want that and also now if i can see i'm having that kind of soft glow but it's too much so i'll come over here anytime and i can reduce it as i want again this is not final but yeah the, these are the tweakings which i am doing and if needed i can go to my rim light this is my rim light right and i can add a grade node and i will enhance highlights might be and if you can see so if i'm going to enable disable this let me check and also i can add gamma to it so it will create a outline like this and if we can say just go to first frame yeah it's working fine now so this is what i'm having and also if you can see i'm having a black edge which is a pre multiplication error so to fix it either i can use unpremult or i can go over here in plus and in output i'm going to use rgb only rgb and my problem will be solved so if you can see over here i am having my black or dark edges fixed okay so also i want to add some sort of uh, variation to my this thing my spaceship uh, although i am having variation but if you can see uh, i am having very flat surfaces over here so to fix it what i can do i can make some space over here yeah like this and after my indirect light or might be my key light what i'll do i'll take my ambient occlusion control c control v and in ambient occlusion i am going to add a grid node i'll do some contrast and might be in this or i can take another grid node and i will add a little cyan to it why not right and i am going to take a merge node I'll tell you why I'm using cyan, and I'll multiply it because ambient occlusion should multiply on a uh, blend blend on multiply mode. So yeah, this is what I'm getting. This is what I wanted. So where wherever I'm having my contact, this color should pop up. So uh, I'm getting two brighter values. So I'll go over here and might be I'll reduce it a bit. Might be I can reduce saturation a little. 
hint of that particular color so what will happen i will have some sort of variation kind of stuff and uh, i won't have any flat surfaces if you can see can you see that now i'm having something correct so you can try it out you can use your um, uh, ambient occlusion in a different way right also if i want to add some more variation so what i can do i can go over here and i can take uh, another shuffle node and this time i'm going to shuffle my uv pass again uv pass is a utility pass where we can have all the information of uv unwrapping right and in this particular thing i'm going to use a st map and in st map i will add a noise right might be i need to switch inputs ev channel will be this thing and yes shift x so my uv will be in st map and noise will be in source and also i'll go over here and i will try to create a contrast right like this right so yeah and after that might be i can I, if i needed i can change my scaling and all but uh, for now it's working fine to me and i will do one thing i'll take a grade node over here and i will add a mask and over here if you can see if i'm going to use uh, might be gain so can you see that so i'm having more variation right so i can change my scaling a bit i think it's yeah i think it's working fine for me right so same way i'm going to add a grade node over here in my key light and also i'm going to connect this with my this thing and over here as well i'm going to use gain or might be i'll add a this thing can you see that and what i'll do again uh, so if i can see over here alpha it's little dull right can you see that so i can add a grade node after this and in grade node i will go alpha only and might be i can increase the strength like this if you can see now if you can see over here i am having a better variation can you see that might be i'll go over here in white point and i'll increase it so if i'm going to see my final output by using this technique you can add a multiple variation right like this so yeah it's looking too much for me so might be i'll go over here and i will reduce a bit not much and also i will reduce a bit if needed i can defocus it or blur it but if you can see it's working pretty fine so i think that's it for today's video i don't want to make a uh, long videos so hopefully in next video i am going to continue my this compositing thing and will achieve what i want so i hope this video is helping you to understand how you can start with compositing cg passes inside nuke and if you think that this video is helping you Please don't forget to like this video, share this video and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.